name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven and in those on the earth and of those under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So he says, the mind that Jesus took on, the mindset as they huddled in heaven or Let's do this. Are we doing this? Absolutely. He went all the way. He fulfilled the plan. Not just to come, be born as a man in the manger. Not to be just doing miracles and doing the works of God. But all the way to the cross. He didn't stop it. All the way. He went through with it. And in doing so, he enlarged the tent pegs. And now he has a name that is above every name. He is exalted above all others. Amen. There is no one greater than our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And in his name every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord including Satan himself. He will. He will. The day is coming. Just remember who it is that you're serving. As we heard earlier, remember his gaze and his eyes are upon you. Amen. As we heard earlier, he's just wanting you to lock eyes and gaze back and keep on there. As you do so, he strengthens you in this process of becoming to take on the mindset of Christ daily. Did you hear that part? Daily. Yes. Right, right. Because one anybody ever have it have it one day you're just I mean you're just up, you're what is it God has for me? What can I do today? I'm just and then the next day it's like all of hell breaks right. loose against yeah. you. And you're like, Am I I'm the same person? <laughs> That felt what I felt yesterday. You never had. You know what I'm talking about. Circumstances, situations, and then sometimes it's not like nothing even happens. And just our mind takes a swing. And the enemy's fighting. But that's why I say daily, we ask the Holy Spirit for that breakthrough and to give us the mind of Christ. That our mind set. Would be a mind set on things above, Amen. not Amen. on things beneath. Yeah. That a mind would be set on Jesus. This is what he says here. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God. Who works in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure. Amen. So notice he, he admonishes them to take on the mind of Christ. The mindset of Christ. And then he speaks of their doing. He speaks of what they're doing on his behalf. On Paul's behalf. Who's writing this letter to the church of Philippi. He says, do all things without complaining and disputing that you may become blameless and harmless children of God without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among whom, watch this, you shine as lights in the world. He said in a world that is a lost and perverse generation of people. Don't let your mind be changed. Don't let your mind become corrupt with their corruption, which is the corruption of hell. That's right. Dots, what, what is your mindset in this as you're going through? Not just a program, but the spiritual journey. What is, what is your mindset? And as you come through this spiritual journey, what will be your mindset when... This part of your spiritual journey is over. Will you learn with God's help? Will we learn with God's help to daily allow Him to help us set 
our mind on Him and reset our mind and keep the mind of Christ and keep growing in taking on the mind of Christ. Amen. In doing so, we find ourselves not being changed by a crooked and perverse generation. That's what he says here right. to the church of Philippi. He says, take on the mind of Christ. He then brags on them and of their well-doing on his behalf and on others. They're serving. They're giving out. But then he warns <laughs> them, don't let yourself become corrupted. Right. Don't let your mind be changed. Don't let your mind become negative. Don't let your mind become dark. Don't let your mind become focused on what's wrong and, and the bad and the difficulties in your life. But let your mind be fixed on Christ. Amen. Let your mind be full of the Word. Let your mind be full of the, the fresh rhema that's coming from the Holy Spirit as He's revealing what the Father and the Son are saying. Walk with the fresh word as your mind is being renewed by the Holy Spirit. We must do this daily. Yes. Are you hearing this? Mm -hmm. yeah. He said, among whom you shine as lights in the world. That's what God is after. Amen. Shine. That's right. Come on, shine. Right. Are we doing this? If we're really doing this, we need to get bright. Amen. Amen. As we allow the Holy Spirit to help us get it right, we need to get bright. We need to get brighter. Amen. Did I lose you? Nope. No. Is it, no. The light's still working. Light it up. Watch this. Holding fast the word of life, so that I may rejoice in the day of Christ that I have not run in vain and labored in vain. Yes, and if I am being poured out as a drink offering on the sacrifice and service of your faith, Amen. I am glad and rejoice with you all. Amen. For the same reason, you also be glad and rejoice with me. So Paul is saying, if you don't become corrupt, and you keep your mind on Christ, and you keep continually taking on the mind of Christ, and as you're serving me, you pour out and serve others, and you shine as lights in the midst of a perverse and wicked generation, and your candle doesn't have a bucket that's put over it, a lie that's put over it, a devil of oppression that's put over it, a sickness that's put over it, a mindset of negativity 